So this influencer, her name's Coco. So Coco grew up in Germany and she was allegedly trafficked by her own mom. She saw her own sister get unalived and just a lot of awful things I won't go into. But Coco wasn't gonna let this be her life. So one night, and she's only 15 years old at this point, she packs up her backpack and she makes a run for it. She escapes and eventually she makes it to the US, Utah. And that's where her life really takes off. She becomes an anti-trafficking activist. People are sharing her survival story. So she's kind of going viral. Soon she's speaking at events. She does her own TEDx talk about trafficking. And I was trafficked for the first 15 years of my life. And she even creates a scholarship fund to help other trafficking victims. Things are going great for her. Until one day she gets terrible news. She's diagnosed with stage three cancer. The doctor said that with treatment, they gave me 30% chance to live two to five years. But remember, Coco's a survivor and she's gonna get through this. She starts posting about her cancer every day on Instagram. A GoFundMe is created so she can afford her treatment. And that GoFundMe racks up around $10,000. Things are finally headed in a positive direction again. Until one night, police get a call from the former roommate of Coco's, who we'll just call roommate. Roommate used to live with Coco and claims that she would fake health issues all the time. Here she is allegedly fake passed out on the floor after having a fake seizure. So roommate tells this to the police and concludes that Coco's probably faking her cancer too. So then police get a warrant and they look into Coco's medical records. And if you've watched any of my other videos, by now you can probably guess what they found. Absolutely nothing. No record of any cancer, no record of any treatment for any cancer. She made it all up. And when police subpoenaed her bank statements, she apparently spent all that GoFundMe money on clothing, hair products, Best Buy, makeup, and fast food. <laughs> How do you sleep at night? Oh, but it gets worse. During this whole period where she was blowing up, an investigative journalist named Lynn, he starts to call into question her entire backstory. Was she really trafficked by her own mother? Did she really run away at 15? Did she really see her own sister get unalived? So Lynn digs into all this and he's able to find Coco's actual mother in Germany. And according to her, no. There was no trafficking, and mother has the documents to back it up. Also, Coco allegedly didn't run away at 15. Here's the picture of her hugging her mother goodbye at the airport when she left Germany at 21. Now regarding her sister being unalived, Coco does have a sister, and she's very much alive and living in Germany. Also, her name isn't really Coco, it's this. So police arrest her and they charge her and she's sentenced to a year probation and has to pay the GoFundMe money back. And it looks like now most of her social media is private and it appears the scholarship fund she created has also been shut down. And this all happened in South Jordan, Utah. So shout out to Utah. 